Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question three from the May 2018 PUA paper two. If you want to see the other solutions for this paper, I'm going to put a card up there with a link to the playlist, and you can also find a link for that same playlist in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into the solution. Okay, so basically what we have to find here, what we have to do here, sorry, is we have to do the sales ledger control account and the purchase ledger control account. And as you can see, they each have 11 and 9 marks respectively, totaling 20 marks. So let's get into it. So we're going to scroll up and we're going to start from the top, right, with the sales ledger control account. So we have the opening balances, right? So the debit balance is the regular balance because the sales ledger control account is also called the debtor's control account. Debtors, that's classified as an asset and assets have debit balances. So we're going to put that major balance on the debit side and the credit balance of 950 goes on the credit side. The credit balance is sometimes when debtors overpay or we have a refund for them that we didn't pay by the end of the previous period, we owe them money. So we show it almost like showing a liability inside of an asset account. All right. Uh, next, we have sales day book total, right? Now the sales day book is the sales journal. The sales journal records credit sales. We make credit sales to debtors. That would increase the amount of money they owe us. Therefore, the entry to record the credit sales in the control account goes on the debit side. Because again, the more credit sales we make to them is the more money they owe us. That means our assets of debtors is increasing and to record an increase in an asset, you have to debit the asset account. Uh, let's, let's go down a little bit. Right, so returns. So I'm seeing returns inward. So that is applicable to debtors. When debtors return goods to us, it means they send back goods and they therefore no longer have to pay for those goods. So by sending back or returning the goods, they have reduced their debt, which reduces our asset, which requires a credit entry in the control account. All right, returns outputs is for the creditors control account. Let's go. Cash book totals. Receipts from credit customers. So when we receive money, when they pay us, they're paying, they're paying off their debts, which means our asset of debtors is reducing, which requires a credit entry. Now, don't, don't, don't think that, that we're losing money. We're not. We're crediting here, but we're debiting the cash book because money is coming in. All right. Then we have refunds to debtors who overpaid their account. So if they, if they overpaid, it means the credit entry was too high. And the credit entry is too high, we have to kind of counterbalance that with an entry on the opposite side. So for refunds, we have to debit right, the debtor's account. Right? Because remember, if we're paying them refunds, they're going to credit cash book, and every debit needs a credit. All right. Then we have uh, this one, dishonored checks received from debtors. So again, when we receive those checks, they will go on the credit side of the control account, debit side of cash book. But if if we receive some dishonored checks, it means those checks weren't, well, they weren't honored, they bounced, they, something was wrong, they weren't signed, uh, maybe they had the wrong date, maybe the words didn't match the figures, maybe there was some rip or whatever, or some security which didn't, didn't, didn't hold up, whatever it was. So we didn't actually get the money. So in other words, the debt also didn't go down. So we have to kind of undo some of the credit. And to undo credit or to reverse credits, you have to go on the opposite side, you have to debit the account. So that's going to require a debit entry there. Right. Now, for the next item, which is discounts allowed, right, that is where we allow our customers discount. In other words, we allow them to pay less. We basically reduce their debt, which means that we are also reducing our asset of debtor, which requires a credit to the control account. Uh, scrolling on a bit more. Right. So we have bad debts written off. So that's where our debtors cannot pay us. So basically, we've lost that debt. So our asset has also lost value, which means we have to credit the asset account. Interest charged on customers overdue account. So this is where customers take too long to pay. And as a penalty, we charge them interest, which increases the amount they have to pay, thereby increasing the debt uh, or the asset. And the asset to record an increase has to be debited. All right. Now, um, we don't have the closing debit balance, but we have the closing credit balance. So that will be carried down from the debit side. All right. So now if we total up that side, we get 147,830. We have to total up this side. So it means that to find the balance here, we simply have to find the total of the credit entries and subtract it from the 147,830. That's going to give us 46,700. And of course, don't forget to bring down your balances, right? So the closing debit balance is carried down initially from the credit side. 
because it's brought down on the debit side, right? Brought down on debit, you have to first be carried on from credit. Similarly, the closing credit balance was initially brought down, sorry, carried down from the debit side. So brought down on credit, carried down from debit. Okay, so that is the debtor's control account. So let's scroll back up on the top here and scroll down on the bottom here to do the purchases ledger control account or the creditor's control account. So we're gonna put in those opening balances, right? So the major balance is the credit balance that goes on the credit side. So we're gonna put that in there and then the debit balance of 620 goes there on the debit side as well, right? The purchases day book, that records credit purchases. That's when we buy more goods on credit, which will increase our liability. And to record an increase in a liability, you have to credit the liability account. The returns outwards day book records returns outwards. When we send back goods, we reduce the amount of money that we owe because we no longer have to pay for the goods we send back. And to record a reduction in liability, you have to debit the liability account. Let's scroll down on the top here to see the cash book items. Now we paid creditors. If we made payments to them, we are reducing our debt. And to reduce the debt, it means we have to debit the, 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 um, the control account, sorry. All right, uh, re re discount received, right, this one. That's where we receive discount from our creditors. They allow us to pay less. In other words, they have reduced our liability. And to reduce the liability, you have to go on the debit side, all right? Uh, next, we have interest charged by suppliers on overdue accounts. So, right, so just like how if debtors take long to pay us, we charge them interest. If we take long to pay creditors, they will charge us interest as well, which will increase our liability and therefore necessitate a credit, a credit entry in the T account. And finally, we come down to the closing balances. So, we have the closing debit balance, which will be carried down from the credit side. Uh, the total there will be 95250 which will have to be matched on that side as well. So when you do your balancing of your T-account, your, 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 your arithmetic, <laughs> you get your closing balance there as well. And of course, don't forget to bring on your balances. All right, okay, and that's basically it for this question, ladies and gents. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. <clears throat> Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to check out the other playlists. Don't forget to subscribe and check my website for free POA handouts. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.